Well, hello everyone! Recently, I got a chance to play the hotly anticipated Rivals 2, a sequel to Rivals of Aether, a platform fighter with a cast of elemental creatures ranging from interesting to downright awesome looking. The first game added enough little changes to the genre that made it stand on its own. Rivals is obviously inspired by Smash Brothers, just like any other platform fighter. However, it has managed to carve its own path and build a strong community without the reliance of recognizable properties. Well, sort of. But even then, these characters were added later. It's so cool to see that some of these rival characters have managed to garner so much love from fans. Heck, some of them have even become staples in the indie community. Everyone seems to have their favorite character. Mine is Rano as of right now because, come on. Look at him. That's all to say that I really like Rivals of Aether. It's a great platform fighter with a good amount of content, a great roster of unique characters, and fantastic gameplay. After playing the recent Rivals 2 beta, I am even more excited for its eventual release, hopefully later this year. And before I get into it, a disclaimer, this is a beta build of the game. This isn't the final product by any means. Some of the UI elements, the gameplay, there's going to be tweaks and alterations here and there. I mean, heck, the main menu doesn't have music. Not that it needs it right now, but that's just to say, this game is incomplete. So, things are bound to change. There's your disclaimer. First off, I just want to take a minute to talk about how freaking good this game looks. The transition from 2D to 3D is fantastic. Character models are striking with easily recognizable silhouettes. And these characters just have way more personality than ever before. Their facial expressions just pop and their voices just adds to their character. The stages may be simple in layout, but the amount of details in the background are so good. The details really add volume to each stage, and it's a big step up from Rivals 1. Just so we're clear, the layout of the stages are probably meant to be simple so that they could be competitively viable. I don't mean to call them simple in a negative way. They are simple in the best way. No crappy gimmicks or anything like that. You may have some moving platforms here and there, but that's about it. Okay, let's move on to the gameplay. Rivals 2 adds some really cool additions to the platform fighting genre. So for those that don't know how platform fighters work, you have basic attacks, you have strong attacks, and you have special attacks. Special attacks are directional just like every other attack. So while in most platform fighters you have four specials, well, five including your neutral. In Rivals 2, you have an additional three specials to add to your moveset. You have a special while laying on the ground, grabbing the edge, and grabbing an opponent. Depending on the character, you can either use these specials to set up combos or just deal massive damage. I love these additions. The only problem is remembering that I have these new moves. The game as a whole is buttery smooth. It feels so good to move and the attacks have a good feedback to them. That's something that I am pretty critical about when it comes to these platform fighters. Like for instance, Nickelodeon All-Stars just feels very weird. It feels very clicky and I don't know, it, it just doesn't gel with me like Smash Brothers for instance. And to be fair, Smash Brothers has had years and years to really polish its gameplay. Whereas other platform fighters hasn't had that kind of experience. So when I say Rivals 2 has as good as movement, control, and feel as something like Smash Brothers, I don't mean that lightly. It feels so good. It feels so polished even at this stage. This beta for Rivals 2 had a pretty decent sized roster for people to check out. I got to play with some old staples, of course, and they feel great. I'm honestly loving Claren again. <laughs> I, I go back and forth if I actually like this character or not, or at least like playing this character, because she's kind of particular about how she plays. That's to say, I really like the characters from Rivals 1, but I really want to get into the newcomers. My favorite newcomer being Fleet. Fleet is such a cool character. She's like this cool looking fox archer. And I just love this design so much. She's kind of a trickster character with some of her specials and her unique dice mechanic that allows her to modify certain moves. 
It took me some getting used to with her, but I eventually got to the point where I felt really comfortable with her moveset. She is definitely going to be one of my mains for sure. The next newcomer is Loxodont, another banger in my opinion. Heavy characters are normally hit or miss for me, but Loxodont is a hit. He has a unique fire mechanic that has his body engulfed in his own flames, which enhances his abilities. Outside of that, he is just a tank in the best way. He doesn't feel too slow, and he packs a lot of damage behind that axe of his. The returning characters from the previous game have some new additions and moves added to them, especially with the brand new specials that each character gets. Overall, I am so excited for the full release of Rivals 2. I was excited before this beta, but now, Rivals 2 is one of my most anticipated games of the year. I didn't even cover all the little changes and additions that this game has to offer, like the addition of victory animations for characters. These look so good. Or the addition of stages changing the background depending on how many stocks you have left. If it's one on one and each of you have one stock left, then the stage can go dark or, you know, just change in a way where it ramps up the tension, it feels like. So cool, such a little thing like that. It just adds to this game. That, and if you haven't played Rivals 1, then there are additions that you may not realize are in this game that wasn't in the previous one. Unfortunately, at the time of this recording, there is no firm release date. But the Rival team is hoping to release the game by the end of the year. Let me know your thoughts on Rivals 2 down in the comments below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. God bless.